as you can tell by the elephant in the room, I have redoed my hair. Now, um, so basically, I'm going to talk you through what I did because I was meant to video with um, recorded, but I completely forgot. Gonna be honest. So, I'm going to get the products that I used, show you what I used, um, but the pink for this, I'm going to have to like get a picture somewhere and pull it up with, and then I'll put the shade number because um, it's kind of in the bin. So yeah. So let me just go and get them and I'll be back in five. This video is being recorded on Sunday. You will see this Monday. Um, so yeah, so let's start with what I did. So to start off with, I sectioned it into sections and done, well my sister did because my sister taught me, and done, um, done a bleach. So I used the Wella. This is the Blonde, Blonde Morty Blonde. This is um, the Wella professional um bleach powder this is um purple it's actually purple inside if you can see that um so this helped with them brassy tones so yeah so i'll use that and then the peroxide that i used is the 30 mil um it is nine percent and this is 30 vol and um it's the weller perfection cream developer so this is the developer that i use with it um, I only got a small bottle because I didn't think I'd really <clears throat> use it that much. But um, I think when this has run out, I will get the big bottle. Because it's got this one, which is 500 milliliters, And I think it's got a litre one. Or two litres, I think it is. It's got the big ones. So, yeah. Then, for the pink. So, I let that put that on. Um, I've done it into sections. And then I've backcombed. Backcombed. We've pulled it so there was that much root. And then um, we've put the bleach on and I left it on for probably about probably an hour I left it on for an hour but then every 15 minutes we check it and then if some needed more blonde we'll put more on and then we'll put it back up and then we'll take it off after an hour so basically it's just until the hair goes the color that you want and I wanted it that white color so it take more so yeah, so I got it like that, <clears throat> and this isn't like this color isn't actually what it is praying, putting on the um on here. It's actually like um kind of like a rose gold kind of color, but more rose than the gold. So yeah, so this is a complete different color to that it's showing. And um, I will take a picture and like try and show you because on the on here it's showing like a really like past not pastel like a really fuchsia red pink but it's not actually that it's more of a copper kind of pink so let me take a picture i'm going to take the picture of my ends so that you can see my ends are actually okay to be honest um like I didn't expect my ends to be as good as they am. Like, yeah, my ends will need a bit of a <clears throat> hair mask and like that on it. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got like, well, I think I've got a summit coming down. So let me show you. Let me put the brightness down. So this is actually like the kind of colour that it is. It's like, um, it's like kind of a coppery pink. Um, I will be pulling up the actual, my whole, the look, whole hair together when, like, later on tonight. Um, but yeah, but this is not actually the colour that it's showing, like, in person. Like, it's more of a, it's more of, like, a cool, like, a light red. Um, let me get up the actual product that I use, because then if I can get it up, I can show you what the actual product is like the hair the colour of one um because I've got the uh, peroxide here so I can like because the colour that I the red that I used is um this one that I'm going to show you now, and it is, um, I 
Hold on, I'm trying to find it so that you can see the actual colour of it. Well done. My Netflix has gone on too. Let me go on Google and find the actual thing because for some reason it's not on when I'm on the site that I get it from it's not showing the actual um call out of it. So I'm gonna get it up on Google. Because the actual colour name is of it is cool is a cool red, which is so. This is it. No, hold on. Let me find a Bella one. So I'm going to show you a picture that's like my hair. So this is the actual colour of my hair um i will be like putting an actual picture up of it online so as you can see let me try and put up the light a bit so you can actually see it bella so as you can see it's like um it's like a plum kind of red but like just a little bit more it's like a plum but a little bit more redder so yeah so that's the what the colour is if you want to see the actual colour, then go on my Instagram later on tonight. I will be putting a picture up of it so that you can see what it looks like. Um, so yeah, so I use that. Um, I will be putting a pillow, picture up here of what the actual thing looks like. And um, the tube and everything. I will try and get a picture of the outcome of that one in with it if I can. So yeah, so yeah, and then I used this, which is actually the peroxide to go with that. And as you can tell, it's literally covered in hair dye. So yeah, so this is the peroxide that I use. This is the 9% as well, which is from 30 vol. And this is the cream one, the cream developer. So yeah, so all I did was, um, to start off with, I did half a tube. Because in the tube, I think there's like 100 millilitres or something like that. And I did half, so I did 60 millilitres and then I put 60 millilitres of developer cream in. And then I just mixed it together and then I put all that over. Um, and then I did the same with the other half. So I did half one and then did another half. So yeah, so but if, if I put my hair down properly, you will see that there's some parts where there's still blonde-like. Um, but yeah, because my sister only helped me with like the... Um, bleach part so and i did the pink myself and have you ever tried to put pink hair dye all over without not wearing glasses and being blind no it doesn't work so yeah so but the next time it'd be a lot better because the um i will be able to pull it all over um so yeah because i will know where i've missed and then i will focus on them parts more because it like goes brown blonde like a bit of blonde and then into the pink which to be fair it's okay but like you know it's whatever it's all hit and miss for now but yeah i like the overall look um it's actually the color that i actually wanted it it is bang on um because um when i was in college a girl coming with this colour hair but she had it all over and I was like oh my god that hair colour is beautiful and she like oh I used um she told me the, the actual one that she used and it was this one and I was like oh so I was doing I was trying with other pinks seeing which ones I like most and then I was like nah I'm just gonna go for 
that one so i decided to do it and but i lightened it first and then i'll put this on you're better off lightening your hair first and then putting the pink on because you'll make it more vibrant but yeah to be fair the only thing that needs work is just like my ends because it's actually like um a little bit damaged on the ends so from now on i'm just going to be pulling hair masks on and moisturizing hair as much as i can so yeah so like as you can see like some bits are like still blonde like blonde here and that lot but it's it's all good because you don't really see that bit unless you're in the light like some bits it's lighter than the other like darker than the rest like here there's a bit of blonde here but to be honest you can't really tell unless you're actually looking for it but yeah so i'm actually very happy with the end result and um yeah this is how i done it um obviously i'm a professional hairdresser so there's kind of a difference from me doing it to someone doing it from scratch so yeah i'm a professional hairdresser i know what i'm doing um so yeah um and if no one believes i'm a professional hairdresser then i don't really care because i have the qualification certificates for my hairdressing i am fully qualified up all the way up to my level three i'm thinking of doing level four but i'm not sure yet so yeah um to be honest the main thing that i'm actually surprised is the fact that my hair isn't as damaged there was a bit of hair that come out like the usual um but yeah i'm actually surprised but um i think with the next the next bottle of dye that like well not the the liquid like the color i might um i'm just gonna like do it as a top up so i'll probably use like quarter and like just pull it over the places where you can see the blonde but over the places that need touching up because i'm not going to pull it up because this color is permanent um the re cool red that i used is actually permanent and that is what i've been looking for for ages because when i first started I doing my hair because on the 21st of last year 2019 what well, it was a year since i had my hair done that color um and to be honest it was it was i loved i loved the color and the only problem was that every time i used semi i would get um the top of my my pillars my coat my jumpers and my tops and my quilt cover and my pajamas would be pink um when i washed it out in the bath the bath would be dyed pink and it was just so so much effort to keep doing it plus it didn't last because my hair wasn't damaged so it didn't last i had to keep doing it every week and it was just so annoying so i'm glad that now i'm using permanent because i actually really love it like when you look at it in different lights or different angles it's completely a different color and i actually love that the fact of the dimension because it'll be a different color each time you go into like so when i go into the dark it'd be a darker more what is the color what is the word movie kind of color but then when i come into the sun it'd be like um a rose gold pink ready kind of color and i just love it i think that's what i love about having my hair dyed pink because it's different colors in different lights so yeah so that is like my whole hair um i wanted to do a video on this because i know when i did one when i first had this done i did a whole video about it because obviously everyone was asking about it um so yeah so if you want to see actually what it looks like all together on me then do check out my instagram both of them because i will be putting a picture up showing like because everyone wants to see it so i will be putting a picture up on there of my new hair and i think that is probably it guys um also i just want to say another hello to all the new subscribers guys we are over hold on let me have a look who we am now because um i had an email last week saying that you are over 100 subscribers i just want to double check that i'm still over because um i know when i had a look the other day it said 101 but i've had a message saying that there's other people that subscribe to me so i'm just gonna have a look what it is now it oh it's yeah it's 100 i'm gonna just double check because sometimes it doesn't go on properly 
yeah it's i have 100 subscribers so yeah guys i just want to say a big thank you for the 100 subscribers um i didn't expect to get 100 subscribers like this soon but yeah i'm very happy about it and i literally love hearing your guys feedback like i said to one of them um, one of the subscribers that commented he was i literally love hearing all your feedbacks all, all your video ideas my dad's back and all your video ideas i literally love it so yeah so um so yeah so that's it i think from me if you want to see what i'm doing or not video my social media links will be down below also i will be putting up a picture on snapchat just in case you haven't got instagram or twitter or anything so i will put it on snapchat as well so that you guys can see it on there as well um also what was it I'm trying to think also um don't forget to like subscribe click that notification bell to be notified every time i upload um also don't forget to comment leave your feedback and also any video ideas that you want me to do just comment down below and let me know i hope you all have a brilliant weekend and i hope you all have had a brilliant with yeah hope you all have had a fab week weekend and i hope to see you in Wednesday's video also if there's any challenge videos you want me to do then comment down below and just let me know because I am looking for other challenge videos to go on with my Wednesday challenge so yeah um I'm gonna go now because my throat is killing and <laughs> so anyway guys I'll see you then bye guys